Hello everyone, here's your weather hazard briefing for Monday, December 12th. It is continuing to snow and we'll see that snow into the rest of the day. But by tomorrow morning and then even into tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see that snow coming to an end. And after that, some much colder weather is headed our direction and it looks like it is sticking around for a while. We have multiple waves of snow. The low that was to our southwest is starting to move over us. So instead of having these big, broad areas of snow, we're going to have bands of snow waves waves of snow, whether it's bands or pockets of showers moving through. And that's going to make timing and location of some of the heavier snow through the rest of this event a bit more difficult to determine. And we may be tracking this more than real time, you know, versus several hours out, maybe only an hour or two out. For tomorrow, some light snow, especially for the Snake Plains south tomorrow. That'll be ending during the afternoon. Colder temperatures ahead, and especially with some colder air coming in by the end of the week, likely some of the coldest temperatures we've seen across the area so far this uh, fall, uh, heading into the winter season here in central and eastern Idaho. You can see we have one low to the south, but the main area of low pressure that's uh, uh, impacting us is already moving into our area. A pretty good stream of moisture around that, but with the center of the low moving over us, you can see where it has cleared out a bit, where we got some showers, some bands on the satellite loop show underneath the center of that low. That's what's going to be impacting us with some moisture coming around the backside of that low tonight into tomorrow. The weather risk outlook, most of our impacts today, although it does look like we've got some impacts just develop here in the last hour or so, very early this morning when we recorded this uh, across the Magic Valley in the South Hills. But overall for the rest of the day, uh, especially once you get out of the Arco Desert, the Highland areas, the Central Mountains, that's where more of our impacts are expected for most of the day. Going into tonight and tomorrow, we have that snow from the Snake Plain and the Magic Valley south. Some impacts expected with that with light amounts of snow. Up uh, in the uh, eastern highlands, some very early morning snow, but that'll be shifting southward by the time we get to folks heading out for the morning drive. Wednesday, we do have uh, basically ahead of the next wave coming in, we does look like that typical uh, low cloud, fog, light snow or flurry pattern setting up across much of the Snake Plain into the southern and eastern highlands, also up around the Stanley Basin. A little bit ahead of that for Thursday. We don't have necessarily that in the forecast, but something we're going to have to watch for Thursday. And then Friday, a little bit of light snow, uh, especially in the highland areas, the eastern highlands, the southeast highlands, maybe up around the Limhi County area, also up around the Lost River area as well. But again, not a certainty. Something we'll be keeping track. But we don't we don't have on there is the colder temperatures when we'll have a gander at those in just a bit. So how are things looking today? I did say that these waves of of snow these showers are going to be kind of hard to pinpoint here is an idea of what could happen today and this model the one we're looking at it's a, has a little more consensus amongst all the data we look at but it still may not be a hundred percent right on so like I said here is an idea of what could happen going through the rest of the day. We have snow lifting up across the Snake Plain, across portions of the bench areas, also in the southeastern highlands, snow in the central mountains, snow across the Magic Valley. And with that area of low pressure lifting over us, we will see some clearing, some uh, dry, a dry slot, if you will. But that may also induce showers that are ne not necessarily showing up on our models. You can see in this, later this morning, we'll see that main area kind of pushing into the eastern highlands, east of I-15. Also, some of the snow moving out of the central mountains in the Magic Valley. But as the low swings to our south and to the east, we talked about wraparound coming around the edge of the low. That's what we're looking at going in late this afternoon. The question at this point is going to be how quick or how long the snow sticks around. This model is particularly fast with moving some of the snow out of the central mountains and also out of the Snake Plain and Southern Highlands overnight. Some of the models, some of the data indicates that this actually will stick around through most of the morning tomorrow past 6 a.m. And if that does, we'll see a little more snow potential basically from Driggs down to Shoshone and on south towards the Utah border. That is tomorrow morning across those areas. So back to some more uh, of our forecasts, some more of our numbers and such. 
Here are the snow amounts. Where we get some of these bands of snow this morning, we might pick up an inch, maybe two inches locally. It's not going to be widespread in some of these areas where we have a lot of one to two inch, two to three inch amounts. Maybe with the upslope into the Arco Desert, a little more snow around Arco into the Lost River Valley areas, the Lost River Range, the Limhigh Range, also up into the Montana Divide area. But the, some of the snow will be spotty for sure. So we have a lot of snow amount painted on this forecast, but not necessarily everyone's going to see snow every hour this morning. Going into this afternoon, you can start to see the snow amounts thinning out. Uh, maybe a little better potential for more than an inch into the eastern highlands with that band developing. But like we said, we'll have to watch and see how things progress through the day, especially if we can get some pockets of heavier snow with any band, within any band or set of band of showers moving through the area. For temperatures today, a lot of us were kind of where we're at highs for today. We're not expecting too much of a change. Maybe a little bit of a drop later in the day as some slightly, at least the initial push of some slightly colder air moves into the area generally in the low to mid 30s in some areas teens and 20s if you're in the mountains now for this evening we talked about a band shifting from the eastern highlands down across the magic valley the snake plains southward this may be the best potential for seeing snow in those areas like blackfoot of pocatello american falls that falls down to burley also down towards the utah border this is another band coming through another one of these potential bands moving through with an inch or two possible for tonight, we start to see those amounts tapering off. But like I said, if that band sticks around a little bit longer, if it's a little bit heavier, we might be able to add a little bit more snow. But still some light snow possible after midnight from around Driggs to Shoshone southward, maybe even out across the INL. Lows in the morning, once you get uh, to the south where we potentially have a little more snow and cloud cover, falling in the morning it's going to be in the teens and 20s but look to the north we're talking single digits and teens maybe a few spots below zero like stanley basin copper basin even up towards the montana divide and those snow amounts during the day tomorrow generally light as it looks like most of that snow that's in those areas will end afternoon tomorrow for tomorrow's afternoon highs, definitely much cooler teens and 20s across the board. That includes the uh, higher elevations as well. Wednesday, temperatures in some areas, we're starting to see some below zero temperatures creeping into the forecast in more areas. Uh, once you get along the 84, 15, 86 quarter, we're talking about temperatures in the teens, but the typical colder spots, zero to 10 below for Wednesday morning. High temperatures, just a little bit cooler on Wednesday versus what we're looking at for Tuesday, but still teens and 20s across the board. And it, what may end up happening, especially down uh, south of Burley in the South Hills, also into the Stanley Basin, the coldest air may not get to these places. It just depends on the depth of the cold air and how much of a push we get across the divide here into central and eastern Idaho. And we're going to skip ahead to Friday. That's when the colder air really starts moving in. Many areas in the single digits to 10 below zero, maybe a few spots 15 below zero. And afternoon highs only in the teens and single digits. Uh, many areas, teens for the most part, a few spots only in the single digits. A very few folks will reach 20 degrees, except maybe up around Stanley and also maybe up into portions of uh, Limhi County in those areas as well. Going into Saturday, Saturday and Sunday will be the coldest days and very similar. You see a lot more 10 degrees below zero or colder temperatures from the eastern highlands into the Arco Desert, also into the Central Mountains, many areas in around zero to below zero, and highs in the single digits and teens over many areas. But like we said, if the coldest air, like we're thinking, doesn't reach the far western and so southwestern areas of our forecast domain, we're talking temperatures still with highs in the low 20s. That's still colder than we've seen over the past few days. And the trend is for this cold weather to continue for the foreseeable future. So once again, we've got multiple waves of snow into tonight. That includes bands along with pockets of showers. So we've had more widespread snow falling with this event prior to today. But as the low moves in, that creates, that kind of breaks up those more widespread areas of snow. So timing and location is probably going to change over the next few hours where we see some of these bands and some of the heavier snow amounts. So certainly keep an eye on that. If you're traveling, if you're dealing with snow, in your in your plans for today whether it's personal or business certainly keep an eye on the forecast some light snow continues mainly for the snake plane tomorrow morning for the snake plane southward and then we start to see those colder temperatures moving in have a great day and stay safe out there everyone